Man, my mom always told me I was special, but I didn't know I was this special. Yeah, I don't think that's what she meant, man. Oh. Welcome back to Manual Motion. I'm Evan. And I'm Dom. And today, we're gonna take this 458 Speciale to Cars and Coffee, but first, Dom, you gotta tell us the stats. So today we have a 4.5 liter Ferrari V8, pushing out 597 horsepower, 540 newton meters of torque through a seven speed dual clutch transmission to the rear wheels. And my God, this thing is, it's just a perfect recipe. This is, a, this is absolutely Ferrari at the top of their game. This is the top dog of the 4 5 generation Ferraris. And I mean, like the styling cues, it's like, it's aggressive and mean, but like just solid enough where you know it's a 458. It's just so cool. Yeah. And the reason this thing is so special is first, it's called the Speciale, so it's got to be special. Second is it is the successor to not only the Challenge Stradale, which is the end of the run for the 360 generation, but the F430 Scuderia, which is the end of the run for the F430 generation. So this is the predecessor to the now Pista. Which we, which we drove actually earlier this drove, year. Yeah, and, so good. And this is a different animal altogether. It's way more raw. It's, I think it looks it's better. It, it, I think it looks better. Like there's, they tried to make a track car, but they, just, they made it beautiful as well. Yeah. I just love the styling of this. The 458 has always been one of my favorite Ferraris. Of course, it's kind of when I was in high school. Yeah. You gotta love it. It's nostalgic. Uh, nostalgic. I mean, this mid-mounted V8 screams so just, ah, uh, it All sings. All the way up to 9,000 RPM. 9,000 RPM it's redline. Worth it. What an absolute monster this is. We are so happy to take this today. We're going to New Canaan's Cars and Coffee at Zoombox, and then we're going over to Hayfields. Hope you enjoy. Let's get going. Oh, oh baby. Oh. oh baby. We're in the 458. We're in the 458. Our Speciale. Up. Our color matched. Deep. Oh, they're regular. Um, but it's color matched because it's black <laughs> on black. On black. All right. On red. On black. So we are in the 458 Speciale. I've never been to 458 before. This is the coolest. Like, uh, obviously, the new Ferraris are cool. This is where it started. This is the craziest interior oh, ever. So good. Actually, it was the last one. Right, because this is the, the kind of the last, the last of a lot of things. Last naturally aspirated V8, uh, which actually looks beautiful with this carbon fiber in this in there. It's so cool. Uh, so nice. Sounds amazing too. You'll hear it in a couple minutes. Uh, we have this cool carbon fiber interior with like the crazy vents coming out of the dash. Really cool. There's a like, triangle thing in the middle with the fence. If that was lower, I feel like I'd bang my knee on it a lot. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's protruding. <laughs> like, out of the dash, yeah. It gives you a cockpit feel and it gives me a go screw, go scratch. <laughs> But you, know, but you know what, too? This this car kind of has that attitude to it yeah. a little bit. I mean, we have these awesome carbon fiber doors, door handles. Yeah. We have cool carbon fiber steering wheel with leather on it. So nice. This steering wheel is so perfect. It's a Ferrari steering wheel. It's perfect. It's so, amazing. Yeah, we are a bit spoiled right now. We were recently in an F12 TDF, which has a very similar interior. And very, the, very similar. But 200 more horsepower and more expensive and yeah. yellow and... <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. Little, it's a little more tame. Yeah. But still not that tame at all. Honestly, uh, honestly, I've, I'm going to say this many, many times throughout this video, but this is my dream car. I love it so much. I want one of these when I'm old and, mm. oh God. I can see why. There's a lot of drama going on There's in so the interior. Much, so and you know what? The only thing that's really not dramatic in my opinion are the seats. Yeah, they actually feel really nice. They're really nice. They're nice and leather. They have yeah. this really cool red leather stitching on it. Yeah. Uh, red, red leather stitching. Red, red stitching on it. Red stitching. <laughs> uh, with these, like, it's just a really cool design. Fits you really well. Yeah. Hugs you, but not too tight. I'm nice and comfy. And I mean, we're going to drive it all the way to New Canaan and North Salem, Hayfields, and back. And hopefully our backs won't hurt. I guess I we'll find that out. I hope not. But, I really hope not. But you know what? Also, it's funny. This several hundred thousand dollar Ferrari has manual seats, both in the in the moving parts and in the backrest. You have to actually oh yeah, it's twist the, the crank thing. one. It's cr to you save crank weight. It. You know. I mean, it probably I, they shaved two hundred pounds off the four five eight. So it's pretty impressive. Got to be somewhere. Yeah, I mean, like, but but they, there's not like they a didn't take in out here. the screens. They well, they did. They took out your screen. From the F12, the F12 had a Oh uh, yeah, the F12 screen. had a passenger screen. This is, I think, in my opinion, this, in my mind, sits as the more track-focused, more yes. like go-to-a-track kind of car. The F12 TDF is awesome and very track-capable. But, but it's a touring car. It's more, it feels more touring, yeah. even though they're incredibly raw. 
Uh, but this is such a cool cockpit. I also love, love how I, through the rear, you have a lot of visibility in this car. It's actually very easy to like see out of, yeah. but I can love how you can see the motor in the back. That's like such a cool touch. I can't. Uh, sorry. Unless I turn. Yeah, turn around. Yeah. Uh, we've got the shark fin kind of gear selector type thing in the middle. Kind of cool. It's uh, a push button selector, which is bad, but it's a Ferrari one, so it's automatically good. Yeah. If you haven't seen our other videos with Ferraris, uh, basically this shark fin sticks out carbon fiber, very yeah. sturdy, very, very nice. rigid. Very, very nice. Three buttons on it. You got the reverse button, uh, auto, which turns it from automatic mode and manual mode. We're going to keep it manual yeah. motion. Uh, and uh, power start, which, which is, is launch control. Launch control. Which we will not be testing because. Well, not unfortunately. We're, we're, we respect the car. Gonna, we, we do respect we, the car. We borrowed this car. We want people to give us our, their cars, so we have to show that we respect them. We would appreciate it if... We would. We would, we would appreciate it if someone else with a, maybe a Challenge Strelawi or um, a Scuderia anyway, gave it to us. Um, but, but I think, do you know what, this, this, yeah, this interior is a great combination of very nice and very bare bones. Like, it's it's cool yeah, no, it's, without being... I mean... Yeah. Metal. Metal, metal, metal. <laughs> Carbon, there's not much uh, leather. Metal, metal, carbon, leather. That's metal, carbon, it. leather. But there's a, we got a little door pocket. We don't have any door sill, but we do have symmetrical doors. Yeah. For one of the first times <laughs> in Every, a Ferrari. A lot Why? Of the have asymmetrical doors with these Why? areas. Symmetrical doors are so nice. I get to actually have a hand grip. Right. That's but, not down. Uh, I'm just in love with this car. It's so it's cool. So good. It's I, the best. But the again, any four five eight owner. They don't gush about the interior. They don't gush about like those kind of simple small things. They don't gush about the climate control space. It's, sim it's simplicity. Uh, it's simplicity and complexity a little bit. Uh, but the the thing that they rave about are two things: the styling, which is that's in spades. This thing is gorgeous, and the naturally aspirated V8. Starting up the four five eight Speciale, we got the key right here. We're gonna go ahead insert it into the thing. It's very much similar to the F12 TDF. Give that a turn. Wait for all the beeping to stop. If it ever beeps, it didn't beep. Of course, now it doesn't beep. Now it doesn't beep. Yeah, it was when before. we say when we say it's going to beep, uh, this is like the. All right. Oh, that's what the little wrench is. Got oh, it. passenger airbag on. Thank you. Oh, good. I don't want to die. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get started. Press the button. Yeah. It's it's a subdued startup. It's pretty tame. However, that's the only tame thing about this car. Exactly. <laughs> because. We're, yeah, we have no carpets. We have no thing. carpets, no sound deadening. That, well, the, you can, this glass is fine. The, 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 there's no sound deadening kind of in this car at all. Uh, we have the check engine light off. Go ahead and pull it out of park, and we can set off. Whee! All right, we're going 80. Whoa! No, we're heading out from fun. Zoombox uh, in New Canaan. We're going to Hayfields up in North Salem. And all, I mean, like, that, just was, the, that was me just getting out of the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. This thing's, this thing uh, is beyond insane. This is crazy. The 458, which is like the childhood dream, like everyone loves the 458 because the naturally yeah. aspirated V8, but this is, this is just more insane. This is the crazy version. Yeah, and I mean, the engine in the 458 won engine of the year. What was it, like two, three years in a row? It I think was it was several crazy. years in a row. Some insane amount of years in a because row. Because it is so good. I, I, I just watched um, the Jason Camisa video between the Z06 and the 458. Yeah. And he said that the Chevy design engineers, when designing the C8 Z06, mm -hmm. re-engineered a 458. They took the engine apart right. and they just did it. Which is and like... just rebuilt it. And we can immediately see why, because when you're driving it, it's amazing. And so here, we're gonna... so good. We're gonna let you hear it. Engine of the year, car of the year, sure, why not? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. I mean, that 9,000 RPM red line is wild. It, it is amazing it, getting there. The sound is unreal in this car. This it's sounds so better than the than the 488 Pista, 
Oh, way better. One hundred percent. Not even close. It's, it's oh god. I, everyone's saying that. Yeah, the, the four eight. I, I always thought it was kind of weird. People said this sounded better than the four eight eight because the four eight eight sounds really good. Yeah. Oh, it does. One hundred percent. This yeah. is one hundred percent better. Naturally, naturally aspirated Italian power. I'm not jumping on it. Like, we're really not going... Like, it, it, it was, yeah. 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 I, I see it. Yeah, go ahead. The one thing about this car and this engine and the power it has, it is so usable. Yeah. If you if you go, you're not going to be spinning it. It's got... What? Oh, I, I have the Ferrari press release. Oh, you actually. heard this earlier. I'm so into this. Yeah. Because they're so, such, they're, they use such... They have such flowery language. It's very Italian. Yeah. In the way that they describe this So, car. it says... Under the Extreme Technology for Special Emotions tab, that's a tab. As with all Ferrari Special Series, the 458 Speciale boasts an array of advanced technical solutions that make it completely un a completely unique model designed for owners looking for an even more focused sports car offering extreme driving emotions. Extreme driving emotions, and it delivers. One gear at a time. Oh my god. It oh is my oh. god. This thing is worth the 500 grand. Yeah. Oh my god. This is sad. Screw the pista. This Get is this. Yeah. Why, who gets a pista over this? Yeah. And so the pista is technically the better car, right? It's got more aero, more downforce. It's got more of the thing you want it, for it, a track. It just straight up is a better car. Right. It's more comfortable. And but that's, well, that's what people saw, I'd say a lot about electric cars too. Yeah. That they're like, it's technically a better car in almost every way, but you're missing something. The there's, driving emotion. There's an emotion to this that I was absolutely not getting in the 488 at all. No. I mean, you can even hear when the paddles are clicked. Like, yeah, there's a sound, or it's big, bigger sound to it. The thing, I have this vent over here is rattling, and like that just adds the experience. It's so good. I love shifting in this car. And again, like I think this you said before, usable power. Like the I put my foot down in the throttle, it's really, really responsive. It's yeah. incredibly so because it's naturally aspirated. You're not waiting for any turbos to spool up. Yeah. But you feel like you can just put your kind of like foot in it, you know, and actually go. And you, you know, it's not as scary, but you do get this sound that explodes out the back and the steering yeah. too is just is so confident inspiring the ride is hard like better than the 488 because it's a little more raw but it's so soaks up the bumps so well yeah and it that, really does i'm actually surprised that again this kind of card handles this well like it handles the bumps this well yeah because man is it good and one common misconception about the 458s is that they're not that fast because they're <laughs> older cars. That's not true. Whoever all. thinks that's an idiot, <laughs> because I, I don't, I don't, I'd get a base four five eight, and I'd be one of the happiest people in the world. Man, this thing is just a dream, and you know what? It, it lives up to expectations. I mean, this has a really high watermark. People rave, rave, rave about the four five eight over almost any other Ferrari, especially if this, especially like the two thousands, yeah. right? And yeah, I see it. Because it's just... Man, the way this thing handles a corner is unbelievable. It's incredible. Because this this generation, the Speciale, the TDF, yeah, all of that, it's peak Ferrari. So we drove the TDF last week, and that thing was also an experience. Yeah. But it was... It was it fe I felt timid in it. Like, I, I felt scared. Yeah. Not because Evan was driving. Well, a little bit because Evan was driving, but it would. It felt like it was going to kill you. This yeah. feels like it's going to help you be super, super fast and aggressive. Yeah, to your point, the the, the F12 again feels like this big, intimidating car to drive, and the 458 is so much smaller than that car yeah. and tighter. And I am so far forward in the car in comparison to that. That that hood is a mile long. The F12. Yeah. This I feel like I'm in front of the car, and I I have so much confidence because I can see everything in front of me. I'm not wondering where the front end is. I can just point it and shoot and go. Oh. I so talking about downshifting there. The 
well, on the way here, yeah. we were on, we were driving around, and I was downshifting, and I pulled up to a stoplight, pretty much almost exclusively while engine braking. Yeah, this car actually has a ton of engine braking. It's actually it's really it makes it really dynamic to drive because you really can feel it move as you downshift. And the shifting is, while it's fast, it does throw you back when yes. you shift. It, it's a, it's a. Yeah, oh. they're very aggressive shift. This car is not meant for comfort. No. At all. You were mentioning this earlier to me, which I thought was funny. People have manual swap these. Yes. And I think that's crazy to me, considering how fast this thing revs up. But yeah. the, like, I can just picture having a gated manual here being really cool. But you know what? I'm not necessarily missing it. I like the paddles. I no? love yeah. Ferrari has some of the best paddle shifters. And it's probably one of the, one of the only cars that I truly don't miss a manual in. Man, I think the story of this car is just the sound. <laughs> yeah, there's another thing in this car too to talk about is the brakes. They're big carbon ceramics. And yeah. you... oh. oh man, you really can oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The the braking system in this is high performance ABS, which is trickle down technology from the F1 cars and the LaFerrari. So <laughs> crazy. This has some LaFerrari brakes. Essentially. It, That's wild. The Ferrari website said it has an 8% shorter stopping distance than the f uh, than the 458 Italia. And that's no slouch. That's for sure. No, that's incredible. Wow. We're almost getting to Hayfields now. This is just, what a thrill this has been. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is actually one of my dream cars. So just having this as a, it is literally a dream come true. And I and I was really scared because I overhyped it in my head so much. Yeah. Oh God, it's so much better than I thought it would be. It's, it's kind of impossible to overhype this car. It's actually, I, I mean, like, this was the yeah. car that I also in high school grew up with as like the yeah. Ferrari, right? Yeah, it was the top dog besides the TDF. And <laughs> it, it, is it just is the top dog this is so cool i mean yeah and we're just so thankful to the owner for letting us drive this thing yes. i mean this is just thank you so much what an absolute thrill and i i'm so glad we got to share it with you guys if you guys have been enjoying these leave a like comment subscribe whatever you want to do yeah. we appreciate it and we appreciate your time and we really do because without yeah. without you guys i would never be sitting in my dream car right now that's true that's true or it would be it would take a while to get here much longer like i'm 16 and in my dream car just getting driven around That's and it's, cool. it's oh my god it's so nice wow it's amazing thank you thank you so much thank you thank you we'll see you in the next one and we'll actually go to the outro now
that was our trip to Cars and Coffee. We just want to say thank you so much to the owner for letting us borrow this machine that I'm now in love with and yeah. I'm actually keeping. Whoa, no, 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 no. We haven't asked him yet. <laughs> no? Maybe, maybe one day, bud. But it's but a we'll... charity. It's a tax write-off. Is it? <laughs> It's all right off. It could be. Sure, why not? Uh, but no, we had a great time. Cars and Coffee Day was popping at Hayfields today. It was so it was exciting. So awesome. So many cool cars. Career GT showed up. Spiker C8 showed up. T Raw Welt. If you're into Porsches, Porsches, you know, Porsches, you know what's up. Uh, but we had a blast. So good. This car was amazing. Thank you to the owner. Thank you for everyone for watching. Really appreciate your time. Check out Manual Motion's uh, Instagram. We have Manual Motion underscore YT is our Instagram yep. handle. Check us out. Down post a bunch of cool pictures there. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you liked it, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.